Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do a video that I saw Paula from A Beauty Girl made me do it. She did and I have been thinking about doing this video for a while and then she did it and I was like, yes, I need to do it as well. I really like this idea of gathering everything that I am trying to pan right now and get a, a overview or whatever how much product that I'm trying to go through. In front of me there are less products than I thought there would be so I'm pleasantly surprised but this may seem like a lot for some people. <laughs> um, mm -mm. Let's take the base products first because they're less. <laughs> First up, we have a setting spray. This is the Rimmel London Insta Fix and Go 2-in-1 Primer and Setting Spray. I would say it's almost done and it is the only setting spray that I have, so when it's done, I can buy a new one. Don't know if I will though, but that is the first product that I'm panning. This is the W7 Princess Potion Complexion Booster and Primer. This is a so-so product for me because I don't think it is working for me in the morning time. I need to try to use it as a serum or nighttime face cream, you know, like an oil or something. This is the foundation that I'm panning. It is the W7 Face Fantasy Matte Finish Foundation. I do really, really like this foundation. I have it on right now mixed in with a darker shade because I have apparently gotten a tan and I'm not as pale as paper anymore. This is almost done and I'm really excited about it because it's not my favorite but I do like it. I'm looking forward to pen a non-matte foundation. Two concealers that I have in products and that are smitching too dark for me right now. The first one is the Maybelline Instant Anti-Age the eraser eye and as you can see I'm almost done with this and then I have the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NW15 I am using this a teeny tiny bit with another concealer that is a bit too light for me so I'm in between shades right now which is very normal for me I'm not panning a powder which is rare <laughs> but I'm not the benefit Hula bronzer and let me show you the progress. I have some decent pan on it. I have it in my graveyard project pan. I'm panning a few blushes. One of them is the Fred Boy by The Balm. It is this coaly pink shade. I really really like this a lot and I do have a dip and I'm really excited about it. Another blush that I am panning is from the W7 Casino palette. This is the one I am focusing on this orangey peachy blush. I do have it on today with another thing that I am showing you in a minute. For highlighters I have two here. One of them is a Franken highlighter from a face palette that I will show you. So there are two highlighters in this. One from a palette and then a little bit from here. And then I drew this in my whole collection project pan to work on. So I'm also working on this. And this is a baked highlighter, so it will take forever, but I'm really excited to be working on it because it's really, 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 really nice. It is from Technique. It is the Get Gorgeous highlighter, if I didn't mention that. The Frank highlighter is partly from the Technique highlighter and then a highlighter from the Gwen Stefani for, uh, face palette from Urban Decay. It is the shade that was in here. It is Angel. And then I finished up the bronzer that was here and... Then I pressed in an eyeshadow that I have on top of my cheekbones because I tried to use it as a blush. It is the L'Oreal Infallible Pigment Eyeshadow Thingy in Magnetic Coal. This one right here. It is crumbling. I forgot the highlighting stick. I am working on a cream highlighter. It is the W7 Strobe and Go Strobing Stick. This is a champagne highlighter. I use it every single day underneath my foundation or on top. Depends on how I forget my routine or remember it for that matter. I like to pan a cream blush, a powder blush and a cream highlighter and a powder highlighter. So I can go through my stash and layer and stuff like that. So this is the cream highlighter that I'm working on. The cream blush that I'm working on is this red one. Spoiler alert though. It is this red one from the Balm Bon Jovi palette. It's 
So this is my last cream blush, I believe, in my collection, which is really, really exciting. But it will take forever because it is red. Back to the eyeshadows. I have a Neil Shore eyeshadow. It is a powder to cream eyeshadow in soft copper. I just drew it in my whole collection pretty pen, I believe. So it is this one right here. I need to figure out how I am using this together with other products that I'm panning for eyeshadows because it doesn't really layer well <laughs> with some of these. Then we have the Kiko Makeup Milano eyeshadow in 133. I like this in my outer corner, which I have today. And then it's just a dark eyeshadow. And then we have the W7 Hologram 3D eyeshadow stick. This is a really, really fun product to pan. I do have it in my inner corners. I have that every day. <laughs> and it is this pink one, but it leans more red and kind of do a chromey green when you put it on. It has a pink base though. I think we have lip products and eyeliners and then we have palettes last. Okay, let me take the other eyeshadows that I'm working on. This is my smaller C palette, that was the cream blush. And then I am working on these single shadows right here. This is a Makeup Geek Cosmopolitan that I'm working on. A beautiful peachy pinky duochrome. I use that all over my lid. Then I have a Benefit Call Me Buff single eyeshadow from a holiday kit. I use that in my inner corner up here. And this Catrice Eyes Wide Open single eyeshadow I use on my brow bone to highlight. And then we have a Kigo High Pink Man eyeshadow in 54. It is a beautiful purple. I do set my liner with that that I'm going to show you in a minute. Then I am working on an eyeshadow from the W7 Enchanted palette. I just pulled this into a project and I am working on Mystical. I have used that once or twice right now since the update. And that is mostly because I am panning this Morphe 35OM palette, which is orange and browns. As you can see, there are a lot of shades right here. Lots of browns, so I need to find a way to use this and this brown shade at the same time and still make progress. I haven't found it yet, but I will. Another palette that I'm working on is my two weeks one palette for right now. I have a whole series going on, so I'm working on something new every two weeks. I am working on the Zodiac Love Signs from BH Cosmetics. I Love this palette. When this video goes up, I will have used it a few times. Oh, a product that isn't an eyeliner or oh, maybe it is. It's more of a cream shadow. It is the NYX Jumbo Eyeshadow in Milk. It is getting so tiny. I use it every single day as a base for my eyelid shade because it is kind of sticky and because it's white. The shadows I put on top are more opaque, and um, so I really really like this pencil. It's going very slowly, but I have steady progress on it. This is the purple burgundy eyeliner that I am using regularly on my upper lash line. This is not purple when you put it on, <coughs> not anymore at least. So I do set that with the purple single shadow from Kiko. I am working on the Trended Up Metallic Gel Eyeliner in... Mm, what do you call it? 50? Metallic Bronze Eyeliner or something. It's really, really beautiful. And then I am working on the Rimmel Exaggerate Waterproof Eye Definer Eyeliner in Rich Brown. And then I am working on the NYX Retractable Eyeliner in Aqua Green. Then I have the W7 Double Prime Lips and Brows Duo Primer. So, as the name says, this is a lip primer. I use this every single day, once, and that is in the morning time. And I do find this working. It's a little bit weird, but I'm really enjoying this when I remember to use it. So, maybe I'm lying, I don't know. <laughs> This is the Imite Makeup Lip and Cheek Stain Tint, whatever. I used this as a lip stain uh, before my lip liner and 
uh, lip product there's not a lot of product in it anymore so maybe i can use this as a cream blush i just need to get it into the routine on my lips and then maybe i can work it into a routine for my cheeks i believe we only have lip products left i am working on one two three four five six lip products and one of them is a lip liner it is from ebay I have been working on this for so long, since like August, because it is in my panning games. It is so disgusting because I use it today. Um, so that is how it is looking all of the time. I do sharpen it for the updates because it's disgusting. <laughs> A lip gloss that I'm working on is the W7 Lip Tripper Holographic Lip Gloss. This is a lip crayon from Me 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 and it is called the Velvet Finish Lip Color in Playful Peach. It is so tiny. This is the Maybelline Elex Color Elixir Lip Lacquer in Alluring Co. It is an orangey pink lip gloss. It seems like it's orange, but on my lips by itself at least, it is pulling pink. But when you put it on top of this crayon, it pulls that color, the orangey coral shade. So that is really, really nice that I can play around with the color tone of this lip gloss. The nude lipstick that I'm panning is the Estee Lauder Pure Color in Pink Berry. It is a lasting cream lipstick. I love this one so much. It's so beautiful. So this is kind of the cool tone nudie. Oh, I forgot the one that I have on my lips today. I will go get that in a minute. That is also a nude. Oh, I have forgotten too. I guess I am panning more lip products than I thought. The red that I am panning is the W7 Matte Metallic Matte Lipstick in Neptune. This is a beautiful, beautiful red shade that I'm so excited. Look at that. I'm so excited to be panning this because it is so beautiful. I'm not sure that I can finish it all this year, but I'm trying at least. Let me go grab the two lip products that I'm missing. And I will be right back. So the two last products that I am panning, I believe. I hopefully haven't forgotten any more. Otherwise, it's really insane how much I'm panning. So the first one is the e.l.f. lipstick in Fairy Fuchsia. I have so little left of this. So there's only this little bit left of the lipstick. I love using this. This is the warmer nude that I am using in the morning time. And then... The one that I have on my lips today, it is the liquid lipstick that I'm panning. It is the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Can. So this is a warmer nude as well, but I do touch up with this throughout the day. And then I apply the e.l.f. lipstick in the morning every day. And if I don't want to wear a warm nude color, I am wearing either the red, the cool tone nude or the orangey one and then I use this here and there because there are some of these products that are in my roulette pan collab or my whole collection project pan where I only want to use them a certain amount of times 20 for example so some of them I'm not trying to pan completely at some point I will but right now I'm just using it for example 20 times so it removes some of the pressure to completely finished items but it can be overwhelming because there's a lot of items to work on and get into a routine and so on but i really want to play so i try to find a middle way throughout it all i hope you guys enjoyed this video i have been here for way too long now so Hopefully this wasn't too boring because this was kind of repetitive because I talk about these products a lot on my channel. I have a few products that I haven't showed here that are more of beauty products and nail polish. And if you want to see what I am panning that isn't makeup, please let me know and I will do that video as well. And yeah, until my next video, please take care.